customer already had a pre-existing one, so it's a little different more than you know what we're used to. So it's a little nice. Gave us a break with the electrical because they already ran what we needed. So we just right now I'm just changing the disconnect so I can just match them. Yeah, get a bucket. They put all this in um, before the sheetrock, you know? So now we're replacing the ductless and we're trying to line everything up to make it work. And it's uh, just a little, being a little difficult, that's all. And usually guys who do things like this uh, don't do it right. So I'm trying to correct little things as we, as we go here. Make sure it works for from here on out. Too high, you need to go up. Go up on your side. Yeah, I love that. Is it tight? Tight, yeah. Yes. Alright, uh, slowly pull it out. Don't fall, Jack. Try not to. Yeah, we're running the line set from one side of the house to the other. Like I said, it wasn't ideal at the time, you know, if, if it was a new installation, you wouldn't have done it that way, but considering there's already line hide on the outside of the house, you kind of had to deal with what we had, so it's a big, it's a big process, but, you know, it'll look nice when it's all done. Got lights up there? Oh. A higher full house. Ace is full of sixes. Monsieur. Yeah. Ace of clubs, I win. Hey Jack, yeah. I wouldn't rely on that plywood for much. Yeah. Um, anything else I get need up there before I hop up there? Well, you got you got zip ties, you got straps, you got screws. bandsaw, you got screws. Yep. Yeah. Why don't you use that piece of wood right there for something? Lean on when you get up there, or whatever you need. It's dark down there, Jack. What? It's dark down there. Uh, up in the attic, we were running the line set. We had uh, our ductless line set. We had to go from kind of one corner of the house to the other corner. So we had to snake it through the attic. And unfortunately, that's the only place you can go with ductless. Um, wasn't easy, but we got it now. We put a T or something and come out. Because there's a T there picking up the two drains. Yeah. Once we just came out of the bottom, cut the T, the came out and went right. Yeah. Look at that, we have access to the disconnect now, huh? Nice, beautiful disconnect. Yeah. Kelvin, new shoes, new shoes that work is like having new underwear, you know what I mean? Feels good. This one has a lot of support on the bottom. Doesn't it? Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. Uh, right now we're filling the system with pressure to uh, make sure none of the fittings that we made leak. So, we want to make sure that we have no leaks at all, because it's not a fun day. Alright, so we, uh, we defeated the beast. We had to get that new line set into that white line high going up the side of the house. 
It was a real pain, but we got it. Strapped it along nicely, put the new unit, so we're in a good position now. It took a long time, but we're I think we're good to go. Got pressure on it. We're gonna start our, our evacuations and then uh, start the system and get get the customer some cooling. So we'll be good on our way.